Cartagena is one of the world's most beautiful, romantic, and colorful cities. It is full of history, friendly Colombians, and of course, tourists. The walled city has pastel-colored, flower-lined colonial buildings, the old city, cobblestone streets, horse-drawn carriages, and enough restaurants and shops to please all of its many visitors. Let's look at the best things to do in Cartagena, however, before we start our countdown. We would appreciate it if you would subscribe to our YouTube channel Travel Boss and tell us your favorite thing to do in Cartagena in the comments. Let's get started. Number 10. The Palace of the Inquisition This interesting museum is in one of Cartagena's most beautiful colonial buildings, but it tells the story of a very sad time in history. The Spanish Inquisition sent people to the American colonies to punish heretics for crimes like witchcraft, magic, and blasphemy, which were seen as threats to the Catholic Church. Number 9. Convento de la Popa This hill is the highest point in the city, and at the top is a convent called the Poop de Convent because of its shape. Take a taxi up the winding road to see this convent which was built in 1607 and strengthened 200 years later. From here, you can see the best views of Cartagena and its beaches. You can also go inside the chapel to see La Virgen de la Candelaria and the flower-filled courtyard. Number 8. Sunset Drinks at Café del March Because it is in a great spot, this restaurant is one of the most popular in the city. It's right next to the walls of the old city and it's a great place to sit outside and watch the sun go down over the Caribbean Sea. Because the building is so nice, the prices here are higher than most in the city, but the cocktails are great. Number 7. Playa Blanca The most popular white sand beach near Cartagena may be on Isla Bar. You can get there by boat or car. During the day, it can get crowded with locals, tourists, and people selling things on the beach. But if you stay for the night, you won't be sorry. There are many places to stay, from fancy hotels to hostels to hammocks and tents right on the beach. The water is a bright blue color, and in the evenings it gets very calm and peaceful. Number 6. Mercado de Baserto The Mercado de Baserto is loud, smelly, busy, colorful, and totally real, so you should definitely go there. It's the largest wet market in town, and you can go there to watch people cut meat, scale fish, cook, fix machines, and sell their goods. You should be careful with your belongings and wear shoes with closed toes, but this is a great way to see the real Cartagena. Number 5. Islas del Rosario The Islas del Rosario are 27 islands in the Caribbean just off the coast of Cartagena. They are a beautiful place to spend a day trip. They are full of coral reefs that are home to a lot of fish and other sea life. You can spend a day here boating, swimming, or snorkeling. They also have hotels, an aquarium, and some hiking trails on land. There's an island for everyone, whether you want white sand beaches, a party atmosphere, or long stretches of untouched beach. Number 4. Visit a Mud Volcano El Tatumo is a small volcano that is just outside of Cartagena. It has thick, bubbling mud that you can bathe in. You climb into the hill-shaped vat where you can float in the mud and even get a quick massage. After your mud bath, which is good for your skin, local women will scrub you down in the lake. Number 3. Street Food Tour you should definitely buy some cheese-filled arepas and fresh lemonade from the food vendors in the plaza. Cartagena Connections will show you around town and teach you about the food and culture while giving you samples of exotic fruits, fried snacks like empanadas and bulos, queso costio, frozen treats, and tinto. Number 2. Castillo de San Felipe de Barajas this may be the most impressive fort the Spanish ever built in one of their colonies, and it is a landmark in the city of Cartagena. Building started in 1639, and even though there have been many attempts to attack the city, it has never been taken. There are tunnels inside it that are made so that even small sounds can travel well, making it easy to find any intruders. 
Number 1. Explore the Old City Most tourists will stay in the Old City of Cartagena, which is made up of the Centro, San Diego, and gets many neighborhoods. You should do the same. Here, you'll be close to the city's most historic areas and most beautiful streets, especially in the Walled City, which is a UNESCO World Heritage Site. You'll see lots of colorful colonial buildings, flowers, street artists, and people selling small items. Do you agree that exploring the old city is the best thing to do in Bordeaux? Share your views in the comment section below, and also don't forget to subscribe to our channel Travel Boss for more traveling videos. Thanks for watching.